Hi guys, so today I'm going to be starting on probability. This is a continuation of my stats topic for the month. So, um, I'm going to do a question, start right into the questions. Um, so this question is, um, the American Red Cross says that about 45% of the U.S. population has type O blood, 40% type A, 11% type B, and the rest is type AB. So part A says, Someone volunteers to give blood. What is the probability that the donor has type A B blood, has type A or type B blood, or is not a type O? So, I'm going to start with this question. Start with part one of part A, which is finding out how much has type A B blood of all the donors. So in the question, you're given that 40% is type A, 11% is type B, and 45% is type O. So that'll just be that you total those. So 45 plus 40 plus 11 gives you 96, but 45 plus 40 plus 11 gives you 96. So now that you know how much percentage is everything else, to find out how many have type A ble AB blood is you just do 100% minus 96% which gives you 4% of your donors are type O blood. Sorry, type AB blood. So that's the first part. Now, the second one asks how many have type A or type B. Now the key word is the word or. In this situation, um, in stats, there's two keywords. There's or and there's and. And each one tells you what you have to do with your probabilities in order to find what you're looking for. So in the case of or, uh, in the case of or, you have to multiply. It's known as the multiplication rule. So to find out type A or type B, I would look at my probabilities for type A and type B, which is 40% is type A, 11% is type B, and I have to change these to decimals so I can multiply them. So 40%, to change to a decimal you divide by 100, which comes out to be 0 0.4. And 11%, once again, you divide by 100, which comes out to 0 0.11. Since the word or is given in the question, it means that you have to multiply these two probabilities to find out your answer for this one. So, in order to find out, for part 2, I would do 0 0.4 times 0 0.11, which gives me... 0 0.044 Now, this is a probability. You can either leave it as a decimal or you can change it into a percentage, which it depends on what your professor asks you to do. I personally would put it in a percentage because it makes more sense. So you would just multiply by 100 and you'd get a percentage of 4.4%. Okay. So now part three asks which donor is not, what is the probability that the donor is not a type O? So you know that 45% is type O. So this one will also be a simple subtraction. So it'll just be 100% minus 45% which would give you 55% or if you want to do it in decimals it would be 1 minus 0.45 gives you 0.55 
And that means that 55% of your donors are not going to be a typo. Uh, subscribe to me so you guys can see some cool videos doing science and experiments and maybe learning something new. Thanks!